Let's get into our panel now. And joining me from Melbourne is Late Debate co-host, is Susie O'Brien, actually, from the Herald Sun, joining us from Melbourne. And on the desk here with me is the Late Debate co-host, Caleb Bond. You gave Susie an upgrade. Well, I reckon she's going to step in there at some stage. <laughs> Susie, uh, yeah, it's a late night, but I reckon you'll be filling in at some stage. Actually, I just want to start off on that uh, ABC thing, Caleb, but it seems to me that we ought to get you onto TikTok. Oh, chalk up 100,000 views, get a dog on a skateboard or something. Mate, yeah, if it was so a dog on a skateboard, you would have shot the thing. But anyway, <laughs> get 10,000 followers and you ought to apply. See if the ABC will make you one of their creative, uh, innovative contributors. Uh, I'm sure they would. And uh, obviously, with all that public money they've got, maybe they could pay better than Sky News. Who knows? We'll see how that goes. But <laughs> I can't believe... Because the thing with TikTok is you can't monetize it, right? So the ABC can't actually make any money for itself out of what it's producing on TikTok. And a lot of what it produces on TikTok is watched by an international audience, not by an Australian yeah. audience. And surely the ABC, first and foremost, should be concerned with producing content for an Australian audience. But they keep ripping people out of the regions and putting people in Ultimo to produce stuff for TikTok so someone over in Cambodia can watch it. Yeah, those jobs, I should have mentioned, they're going for up to $114,000. I've got a good idea what they should call that project. They should call it ABC Me. <laughs> really make sure they imitate art. Hey, haven't uh, they already got a channel called ABC Me? I reckon, they, I reckon that's the kids' channel. All right, they've got so many channels I can't keep up. <laughs> I'll check that out.